Inevitably, there comes a time when you need to void a check in MoneyMinder. We have a couple of different ways to handle this, depending on whether the check has been recorded or not. I'll walk you through both. If you have not recorded the check in MoneyMinder yet, you'll start by clicking on the banking icon in the toolbar. Then click New Withdrawal. Fill out the relevant fields, just like if you were writing the original check, but this time, Leave the dollar amount at zero. Once you're done with that, click the void button in the bottom corner. This will record the check, so you have a paper trail, but it will not impact your bank balance. Next time you go to reconcile this account, in your list of transactions, make sure this one is checked off. Now, let's walk through what to do if the check you need to void has already been recorded in MoneyMinder. Start once more by clicking on the banking icon. Then click register under the bank account the check was written from. Find the check in your bank register and click edit. Next, click the void button. This will change the dollar amount to zero. Finally, click save and close. As before, Make sure this newly voided transaction is checked off next time you reconcile your bank account. Here are a few additional suggestions you might want to consider to maintain a clean paper trail. First, use the memo area to add extra context, like the reason the check needed to be voided, or the new check number if you issued one. Second, when assigning a category to these, a lot of times we see them put under the NSF slash void category. If you don't have a category like this, we suggest making one and leaving the budget in and out at zero. This creates a good place for all these things to live for quick reference. And third, make sure you keep the actual voided check and clearly mark it void. This is an important part of your financial review at the end of the year. Your group's leadership committee will want to see these. They prove that the check was not simply misplaced or stolen. Oh, one final note. If the check you need to void was written in the prior financial year, and you're trying to void it in the current or following financial year, there's a different course you need to take. Check out our instructions on voiding stale checks by clicking the link in the description below. To get more help on this or other topics, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos or visit our help center by clicking on the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and thanks for choosing MoneyMinder.